Okay, for today, it's a review and tomorrow is the big test. So to begin with, I'm gonna write down a problem. I'm gonna see if you can just expand it. Just expanding, okay? So we're gonna say eight x to the third y all over 12 x to the fourth y to the negative one. Now, the only thing that you don't expand is the unhappy thing. You know, which of those is unhappy? The negative. And so put it up to the top when you're doing your expanding. Okay? Expand that out. I'm going to pause for a second while you do expanded form, it's called. Okay. Let's get some help from some different people. CF, tell me something you expanded out. All right, and uh, good. And then the eight, did you leave it as an eight? But probably better if you expanded it. Okay, this is your last chance to stay here. If you turn around, you're just going to be gone. All right, yes. I agree. Excellent. All over. Oh, wait, I forgot something. What did I forget? The Y. I'll leave a Y up there because if there's just one of them, you just leave it alone. All right. Next up, best up in the future, or whatever color that is. This 12, what did you break it into? There's lots of choices. All right, 6 and 2 works great. Because then I a 2 on top and a 2 on the bottom, that can cancel. And expanded form, it means expand out this x into 4 of them. And then the last thing is that y to the negative 1. What do you think? Hey, um. It is just y, but can't leave it on the bottom. To make it be happy and be just plain y, you put it to the top. So that y goes up to the top, up here. And then we expanded stuff so we could cancel it. That's negative. This, I see some people looking at this funny. That was because the y on the bottom wasn't happy, so you move them up to the top. Okay, now I can cancel a bunch of stuff. Two is canceled. X, 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 two more, one more x. Do you see there's still one x left on the bottom? Yes, ma'am. So, how do you one more? Yes, you could have. And I'm still going to get the same answer as you, and I like that way. 6 times 2 is 12, but so is 3 times 4 is also 12, and then you could have canceled the 4s. But I'm going to do, I'm going to finish, and then we'll get the same answer when it's done. Okay, so just hold on. And the final answer I have is 4yy, 4y squared, over 6x. That would have been an okay answer, except I can expand it again. This 4 could be 2 times 2. The 6 could be 2 times 3. And then the 2s would cancel. So the final answer is 2y squared over 3x. So again, if you had this, I'm giving you part credit anyway. You just didn't simplify it all the way. Final answer, 2y squared over 3x. Okay, so that is a typical homework question from, you just need to sharpen, don't you? Go ahead, it's okay. I'll pause for a second while you sharpen it. Let's move on to a different kind. So what happens if there's a parenthesis? This is another, like, different kind. All over x third y. Well, in a problem like this, the parentheses have priority. Have you ever heard that saying? Parentheses have priority. They're first. They get to go first. And there's nothing to do in them, but there's something on the parentheses. It's an exponent. That has done to everything. Why don't you try this one? Do that parentheses first. Think of it like this is the only problem. And then when you're done, expand it out. Once you're done with this, I would expand it out so that you can cancel stuff. Did this copy down yet? This is problem. For you to practice, I'm going to call it problem B. Give that one a try. Okay, so I hope you knew that this 2 has to get squared, this has to get squared, and this has to get squared. So 2 squared, 4. x to the third squared, I hope you got this one down. That's a multiply kind. x to the sixth, y squared, all over x to the third, y. Now, are you done right there? No. You should expand from there and expand this out. 
And now what I mean by expand is write it out. Well, a four doesn't need to be expanded because there's nothing to cancel it, so I leave it alone. If I'd have written two times two, I'd just have to put it back and make it a four. X, 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 Y, Y, all over X, Y. I really do like this as a way of doing these problems because then I just cancel stuff. Cancel, cancel, cancel. And then I have, oh, wait, wait, one more thing. Cancel. And I have 4x to the third y. There you go. That's what you should have had for a final answer. 4x to the third y. Uh, reasonable size test usually has 12. E no, no, let me, let me think. All right, it usually has eight easy ones. And then four more challenging ones, the R3. Yep. So usually it's eight easies and four more challenging makes a total of 12 questions. And it won't take you that long if you know what you're doing. All right. Another scenario that uh, is going to come up on your test. Hold on just a sec. Another typical one. What if you get a negative? Like when I have this, 6 minus 7 gives me negative 1. There was, we talked about this yesterday. Some kids wanted to put it on the bottom and say it's negative 1, and some on the top that it's negative 1. The answer is whenever you subtract them, whatever you get, it goes on the top. It's just that when I'm done, can I leave something with a negative exponent on the top? No. So that move it. So the final answer would be this moves to the bottom because it's unhappy, remember? And that goes to the bottom, and it becomes 1 over x to the 1, or just 1 over x. Okay, so do you get this one expanded? Would have been... What happens? I just expanded them both. Cancel, 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 cancel. See, I can tell the x is on the bottom. So I know sometimes you think you're saving yourself time by just going, oh, 6 minus 7 is negative 1. But if you mess up where to put it, it would have been better to just expand it in the first place and leave your answer as 1 over x. Never had to even worry about negative exponents. Okay? So expanding thing is good. Just watch out for this. I know some kid's going to say, but Mr. Server, you said to always expand them. And I did, and then I got it all messed up. If you have this in your problem, then you can't expand yet. You first got to do that power. All right, so let's have you try this last one. And see if you can simplify this one all the way. First, do the top part. Then, see if I would expand it all the way and cancel stuff. All right, pause for a second while I try that. Correct. Okay, so you got, that's 8. And now do the x to the third makes x to the third. And then the y to the third makes y to the third. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second. Ready? Okay, here we go. So, I hope that on the bottom, that you had x third y. And now, okay, I am a little bit lazy. So, I'm going to knock out those x's. Do you get it? I just have to cancel all of them anyways. See what I mean? They're exactly the same. There's not much reason. To, that's, that's, last, that's yesterday, so you don't want that. Um, there's not much reason to cross that off. Okay? Just sit down, please. I didn't hand those out yet. Okay. Now, I could expand out the rest of it, but the 8 has nothing to cancel. No reason to expand it. And then it's y, y, y over y. Now I can see that something cancels. One of the tops and one of the bottoms cancels. 8y squared. Okay, there you go. So, got a question or do you think that's wrong? Or? Nope. 2 to the third is 8. Now, I know you were thinking 2 times 3 makes 6, but no. 2 to the third means 2 times 2 times 2. That's okay. It happens all the time. That's a, and I'm glad you asked. All right. So now I'm going to hand out the new worksheet. I'm all right. So here we are. Is this blue? Is that all this is? Light blue?
Gatorade Blue. I like it, actually. That is kind of about right. Like Gatorade, whatever. Okay, here we go. Number one. And unfortunately, like, there's no problem. And I'm sure you're going to be really sad, but there's no you can cross that off. I uh, need it to be quite number 19. Number 19. You with me here? You got the worksheet? Okay, cross off 19. And number 17. So 15 doesn't exist. 19 and 7. You need to do the rest of them. All right, so here we go. Number one. Number one says 7Q to the fifth, and there's a, a parenthesis around it with a power of one. Who is smart enough to know what to do? Yes, ma'am. You give the one to all of them. You're right, exactly. So this is 7 to the one, which is just 7, and Q to the fifth to the one. So when you put something to the power of 1, nothing really happens. Okay? All right. And then there's a 12. Q to the 3rd. R to the 5th. Of nothing. Wait a minute. There's no power up there. So what power is there? A 1. All right. With me? Is the gentleman in the back? All right. So here we go. I'm just taking the parentheses off of these and writing them down again. Because that's what happens when you put it to the power of 1, is it just stays the same. Now, there is a tough multiply coming up, and some people in here are good at multiplying and some aren't. So could somebody help me with 12 times 9? You are correct. It is 84. Nice job. And now, that's a 7. Oh, did I say 9? I meant 7, but he's right. It's 84. All right. Now. This Q to the fifth and Q to the third go together in the first one. Q to the fifth and Q to the third. Is this the kind? Think through it out carefully. Should I add them? Or should I multiply the powers? You've got it on your worksheet. You can handle it. Yes? You add correct. So it's Q to the five and he makes eight. Okay. And then there's only one set of R's, so there's nothing to do except just just leave them alone. And yeah, fa pirate's favorite letter. Although you could argue it's the C. Get it? <laughs> Think about the L on the C. All right. Okay. Anyway, so on. All right. Number two is a lot like number one. I think you probably got it. Let's move to number three. Number three's got. Do you remember that the negative can be on the top or the middle or the bottom? It does not matter. This negative has to be in the middle. I don't care. If there's no other negative to cancel it, it's just going to be there at the end. Okay, so the answer is negative something. Now, I would expand this one if I were you, but you do it however you want and write down what you think the answer is. I'll call on a random kid. I'll use the dice to pick, randomly pick somebody, and we'll see what you think number three is. A lot of stuff's going to cancel, remember. A, random dice of destiny. It's row one, person one, that's you. So, what do you think happened on problem three? I didn't call on all you, I called over here, right there. Okay. Okay, did you break up the 40 into 20 times 2? That would have been smart, you don't have to. Over. All right, see you back soon. 20s to the third. And now that 20 cancels that 20. And I two. And then, wait a minute. Oh, how did you do it? Did you write them all the way out and cancel them, or did you subtract these two? Okay. Well, what you could have done is either subtract those two. 6 minus 3 makes s to the 3. Or you could have written out over. And then you go, and either way, it's S to the third. Okay, I'm fine with either method, but I'm just trying to show you because you're the one who has to take this test tomorrow. All right. So there is an example of some of the uh, kinds we have to do for our next test, which is on exponent rules. And we're doing the worksheet called Exponent Rules Mixed Review Day 2.
and that's all i got for the video for today.